The best databases start with a good structural design. In this video, you'll learn what a database is, more specifically, a relational database, which you can create with Access. You'll learn how to organize your database with tables and how to create the relationship between your tables with keys. So, what's a database anyway? In broadest terms, a database is any organized collection of data. Your cookbooks are all databases, and so is this simple list of names and phone numbers in Excel. The next question is, what makes an access database different? Why should I use it? The answer is a relational table structure, and here's what that means. Your data is organized into tables. Those tables are linked together by shared fields called keys. Keys do two things. First, they assign a value of some kind to every row in a table. You can see that Lester Baxley has a value of 1 assigned to his name, and Patricia White has a value of 2 assigned to her name. Keys also link your tables together by sharing values between fields. For example, you can see that Lester's key value is shared with two phone numbers, and that makes those phone numbers his. You can also see that Naomi Barton's key values are shared three times, and those phone numbers belong to her. Now, your database contains two kinds of keys. The key values originate in this field, and they're shared in this field, the destination field. The originating field is called a primary key, and the destination field is called a foreign key. But just having the fields there doesn't link them. You do that by creating a relationship between the tables. You might be thinking, hold on a second, this seems like a lot of work. Why should I do this? Great question. First, storage is more efficient. Do you see how often names are repeated here? In a relational structure, you enter most of your data only once. That can save a lot of space. Relational structures also improve accuracy because when you enter data more than once, you run the risk of making errors. As an example, look what happens if you misspell Naomi Barton's name. That phone number becomes harder to find, and you might never find the mistake. Because you enter most of your data only once in a relational structure, you reduce the chance of error. And if you make a mistake, you only have to fix it in one place. Relational structures are also a great way to capture transactions. Depending on the nature of your database, a transaction can indicate which students are in which classrooms, what sales took place, or who you loaned your book to. So now you know the first three basic steps in database design. Step one is to capture all the data you need to store. In this example, we needed customer names, phone numbers, and a way to categorize those numbers. Step two is to identify all the data you're likely to repeat, like customer names in this example. Finally, step three is to organize that data into its own table. But are you noticing the repeated data in the type field? Good catch. You could indeed break that data into a table. But because these are only a few values, a better option is to create a lookup list, which is just a short pick list of values. Using tables and keys to create a relational structure is a fundamental step in good database design. With your relational database in access, you can save time, save space, reduce error, and capture transactions around your important bits of data so you can work more efficiently.